Greetings people of the world, Matthew back with you for a brand new video that is a follow up to a video that I made a few days ago. You might remember a particular video that I made about a certain autistic boy who receives a particular letter. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. I was reading today's copy of the Toronto Sun and saw a front cover that was very quite appalling. And I want to show it to you. This is featuring a child that has autism. And the headline is, Who Could Hate Him? And this person is unfortunately autistic. And the bottom, at the bottom, it says that he has received a letter that says he should be euthanized. And no, I am not kidding when I say that. That's actually what was said here in this particular copy of today's Toronto Sun. So, not long after speaking my piece and venting my frustration, it should really come as no surprise that Max Begley, the boy who was the feature in that Toronto Sun article, received a lot of support. And I wanted to do anything that I could to show my support personally for him and his family. And fortunately, I found a way to be able to do that. On Friday, I heard about an event that was going on near his hometown of Newcastle, Ontario, about 30 miles east of Toronto, that was being held by a group of motorcycle enthusiasts. And they asked a whole bunch of their motorcycle friends to come together and anyone who owned a motorcycle to come out and show support for Max. And suffice it to say, it was an incredible level of support shown by these motorcyclists and definitely for people who just stopped on the street and who wanted to be able to show their support to Max as well. So I took my video recorder and brought it to this town of Newcastle. So let me show you how it all went down. I understand what the parents go through. And I just want to thank everybody for showing up because this family did not deserve to be wounded. And this is about well, healing for their family. Somewhere we're waiting for my first officer to come. <laughs> make a presentation. We've got his own vest. We want to give it to him now because he actually wants to ride in the parade, so he might as well have a biker vest.
And I got to drive it over his shoulder. Nice. Now I need to do the final stuff to get a picture. Especially when people are holding a full tablet. Take your picture. Hey, it's worth it to be here for this guy. I thought what was going to happen was that they were going to just go to his house and then present it with the right, stuff there. We're going to mount up to get back your bike. Woo! Fire Woo!
That's the support we're showing for Max Begley here, ladies and gentlemen. Make no mistake about it. His support is far exceeds the number of people who are not on motorcycles. As well as far exceeding the number of people who actually are on motorcycles. Not just Harleys.
Jumping! Oh man, this is so cool. <laughs> I'm going to weave it. Look how deep this is. I just thought it was deep back in Newcastle. Hello, hello. This is how deep it is here. Conquering hero has come home. So when it was all said and done, there was no question that this was definitely a wonderful event and definitely one that Max Begley will never forget. And certainly we who were there, who were eyewitnesses, will never forget it either. Just to be there and show our support to not only him but his family and getting to shake hands with his mom and letting her know that we will continue to support Max in the future. It's just a op wonderful opportunity, and I'm so grateful to have had the chance to go there to Newcastle and be a part of it. So I want to thank everyone for watching this amazing video, and I hope that all of you are inspired by it. And I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video, and I know that we'll hopefully be seeing a lot more of Max Begley and his family in the future. So until next time, everyone, take care, and I'll see you soon.